My sisters and brothers, I'm telling you, chosen and another very important topic, which is very much related to the environment preservation, enhancement, and the uh, nourishment of the environment. And that point which I'm going to talk today is the bamboo, the plant which you can say that eco-friendly. This uh, verb or this uh, proverb, this phrase is very common with the uh, environmentalists. But you know, my intention and my opinion about the bamboo is not a phrase. He is enriching the environment. And therefore, in most parts of the country like India, which is not underdeveloped, it is overdeveloped country, not only in population but in intelligence and resource of, abundant resource of nature. And they want only the proper guidance of the people who can teach them the entrepreneurship. Now, this was only one stump of the bamboo and this, this plant or this uh, island or the clone is of about 20 years old. And you'll see there are hundreds of bamboos are on the burn and on the burn side of the, the both the side of the burn of this farm, there is a rivulet which flows in the monsoon and there is no water given to the bamboo. Therefore, on all bunts or the of the plants which are adjacent to the rivulet or the spring, you can plant the bamboos, not eco-friendly but eco-enriching plant. The bamboo can do a lot to the mankind. You know, to talk about the bamboo, bamboo is a very much useful to the farming community, to the small entrepreneurs from parts of Andhra, Karnataka, Maharashtra, MP, and in all parts of the country. And in foreign countries also, lot of things are devised, contrived, designed, manufactured out of the bamboo planks. And you can make the furniture, you can make the uh, cupboards and uh, toys, the mats, and uh, the lot of uh, value addition things could be uh, prepared after the bamboo sticks. Now bamboo can be planted as only one stump and there are two types of bamboos which are commonly known to Indians. One is yellow and which uh, the people say that when you plant this in a house in the backyard of the fold at, it is, it is the good sign of the, the that uh, putting the golden bamboo is a very good uh, uh, for the prosperity. That's what is the, I don't say it is a, uh, superstitious or some orthodox nature, but people find that it grows very luxuriantly. And this bamboo, green bamboo, is very useful to, in agriculture and for the professional purpose because it is hollow and the internal nodes are there and therefore the taller bamboos, they are, this bamboos are about 50 feet height. They can go up to 100 feet and it has got about 25 internal nodes. So, you know, bamboo can be a rich source of uh, uh, for, uh, income to the farmer. Each bamboo, when it is cut, is used in construction work uh, for taking the, um, so putting the slab uh, up, uh, uh, buildings or the house. That is utilized. You can make cupboards out of it. And then, uh, you see, what I wanted to tell is uh, this uh, internal nodes and the new sprouts, we, you, now there is a Guli Parva shortly coming after the uh, Guli Vandan or the Holi uh, that comes on the, the, the first day of the uh, Hindu -y celebration. And a lot of Gulis are just put on the bamboo uh, plants, I mean bamboo, uh, uh, bamboo stem, uh, which is about 40 to 50 feet height. And it fetches to the farmer about 100 to 200 rupees per bamboo. So you can imagine there are hundreds of bamboos can be there on the burn and burn can give in enriching situation to a farmer from the land which is neglected and we say it is uh, not giving any good in, in cash but I have quoted that this can create lot of uh, wealth and uh, improve the uh, nature, enhance the nature, it, it cannot pollute, it cannot uh, uh, it, it doesn't require much water and in all parts of the world, including India and the 
the Rajasthan, Bihar, and the parts which are deserted, because the Rajasthan has got a lot of water underground. Uh, whenever, whenever it used to be very rich source, uh, Rajasthan might be uh, next to Himalaya, evolved as a desert. But be, before that, it might be very rich uh, uh, soil, and therefore there is underneath lot of water, and that could be utilized by this uh, bamboo. So we can harvest the bamboos before the Gudi Parva, and people can make money. And when after Gudi Parva, the sun. Uh, when the summer starts and uh, on the first onset of monsoon and before onset of monsoon the sprouts come. The growth of the sprouts of bamboo is almost from 6 inches about that is 15 centimeters to 30 to 40 centimeters per day and these new sprouts and uh, the young internodes are the source of vegetable by the Parsi people and in some parts of the world. And the pickles are prepared and these pickles is uh, very useful for the improvement of the health and it is very popular among the Parsis uh, all over the world. That your pickle is prepared and that pickle is a very rich source as a, a new recipe to the people of the world. And then you can get this value addition of the bamboo. So you know in agriculture or whatever nature has created is never waste. The one who creates best from waste, he's the super best.